Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One, and today I'm going to showcase this unit. This is a Pecron uh, E3000. It is a unit uh, that is probably the biggest unit I've showed you, and it can actually do th some things. I've used this twice in an emergency uh, when we lost power here, and then I've used it a lot on my refrigerator freezer just to test it out and run it, uh, and it has worked flawlessly. Um, going generally over the thing i have no complaints we we found nothing that i would have changed this thing weighs 55 pounds so it comes with two heavy duty handles which is very important because 55 pounds is heavy uh so basically it's a two-person lift and you can carry it around very easily this thing has inside it a 2000 watt inverter so it can definitely handle your refrigerator freezer that's in your kitchen and it will peak up to 4000 watts so it does have some power uh, probably the best thing about this is the battery capacity. It's 3,108 watt hours. And you might say, well, Dave, what does that mean? 3,108 watt hours. That means there's a lot of juice in here. Some of the other boxes I showed you were 1,000, and then there were some 500 watt boxes. So this is going to do a lot for you. Uh, this has a lithium ion battery in it. Um, they have put two. MPPT charge controllers in it so you can actually put a lot of charge on this thing this is the actual AC charger that comes with it so you can plug this into your generator in an emergency or you can plug it into your regular outlet at your house and then you can plug this into one of these you can if you want to purchase another of these chargers so you can charge using both of the MPPT chargers uh, I'm getting 555 watts out of that. That's a lot of watts going into that. So you get a little over 1,100 if you do need that capacity to charge quicker uh, by buying another charge controller or another charger. So typically if you use one charger and this thing is dead, you just run it down, you can recharge that thing in about five to six hours. If you have two chargers, you can drop that to about two and a half to three hours. So if you were using a generator in an emergency like a little honda 2000 that i have you can probably use a quart of fuel and charge this thing completely up um, this has the capability to run your refrigerator freezer for a whole 24 hours plus typically a, a refrigerator freezer is going to take about 1500 watts and this thing has 3108 in it so definitely can, can do it for a day and then either put it on your generator if you're in a grid down situation or you can then add solar panels to it and it comes with the MC4 connectors these are standard for your solar panels uh, this company sells foldable solar panels so you can look into those I did not have those to test so I really can't tell you um, but they do give you the ability to use both of your MPP chargers so you can actually use 600 watts of solar on each side for total for these be 1200 watts that is a lot of power but you need that because this thing is 3108 so you know you can get it recharged if you're using solar during the day um, let me show you what else the display is great there's no no problems it's very clear what's going on you have a lot of outlets so you can plug in a lot of things. They did cover all the outlets, which is sort of nice. It keeps dirt and dust and moisture out. On this side, you can use your cigarette lighter adapters. You also have all your USB ports here. It gives you a lot of variety to pick from. Also, this unit is crowdfunding right now. So it will probably be a good month before you get your unit. Um, so if you trust crowdfunding, this is an excellent opportunity to get a good unit at a discount. I think it's $1,699. Um, in a few months, it will be available on Amazon, but I think it's going to be like $300 more. My overall view of this, if you're looking for something to keep your refrigerator freezer running in an emergency, this will definitely do the task. Uh, you'll need to add some solar panels, or if you have a generator already, you can definitely go that route. Um, if, if you're limited on what you can lift, it is 55 pounds, so make sure that you can move it around if you're a single person that doesn't have any help. Um, very impressed with the unit. I am going tomorrow show you one from another company 
pretty close to the same size. And then after I show that, I'm going to compare them head to head so you guys can make a good decision. I make absolutely zero money off of this video, as in if you buy it, I get nothing for it. And that's how I want it because I want to be able to show you many units so you can make the right decision. What's going to work for me? Uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll be trying my best to answer them. I will give you a link so you can go look at all the data and you can look at the crowdfunding place, uh, decide if this is something that could fit your needs. Thanks for watching.